Hey everybody, it's Marshall. Um, I'm gonna redo this video uh, and talk about this uh, sum of squares formula. And we're gonna derive this thing on the uh, right here. And uh, I'm gonna clean up some of the things. I had a f uh, one label wrong before and I fixed everything. So uh, it should be much clearer now. Um, and we're just gonna go straight to the first proof of the formula by uh, Archimedes, okay? So he started with this expression, right? So he took n squared, right? And he a he added one to it. Well, he took one away first by the parentheses, right? You do what's ever in the parentheses first. And then he, so he took one away, then he immediately added the one back. And he squared it. So that's still n squared, right? And, um, but what he did was he used that foil uh, technique that we all learned in uh, beginning uh, algebra, where you, uh, when you're multiplying uh, two binomials, you um, multiply the first in each uh, set, right? So we got one squared. Then you multiply uh, the outer, then the inner, you know, the acronym foil. And then the last, finally, the one, there's one. So here's the, here's the um, first, the last, and the outer and the inner. Okay, now you'll see how, um, yeah, we just put them together right there. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to start with, we're going to subtract two and add two and square it. Okay, so then we do the foil with this. Okay, we got that. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you're thinking, okay, now where are we going with this? Okay, so we're going to keep doing that. One through N minus one. We're going to go through all the way. One, two, three, four, five, dot, 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 to N minus two, down, uh, up to N minus one. Okay? We're going to do the same thing. So, uh, and this one's going down from N minus one, N minus two, all the way down to one. Okay? Uh, and so what does that give you? So if you look over here, look, we have one squared, two squared, and we're going to add this column up. So that gives us what we're looking for. Almost. It almost does, right? Because if we need an n squared at the end, we have to add one more n squared term, and we're going to bring that over here too. Okay. And so what do we have over here? We'll just add up. We're going the other way, one squared plus two squared. We're getting the sum of squares, but we're going up now. And, and of course we have to add an n squared on the end just so we can get, because we don't want one plus two squared plus three squared all the way to n minus one. We want to go all the way to n, right? See, this is all the way to n. Let's see, I didn't make that clear in the last uh, version of this. Uh, I hope that's clear now. And we, again, we have to bring this n squared over here and keep a record of it, okay? Yeah, it's over here. Gosh darn it, it should be right here. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing this again, but <laughs> there should be an n squared right here, okay? So anyway, um, so we're gonna add up this last part, all the outers and inners from the old foil formula, and we're just gonna call that some q, q sub n. Okay, so here's what we're, so this, this first column gives us what we're looking for, the second column gives us what we're looking for, and um, this, this first thing right here, it's like how many ends are right here? Well, we numbered them. And, the, and I can't stress this enough. When you're doing uh, math like this, use what you've already, I mean, if we were gonna count up, count this up, how would you do it? You put a one next to this, two. Well, we already have a one, two, blah, blah, blah. So we already have it like numbered, basically, using this, uh, this other thing over here. So this is, we have n minus one ends, because that's, that's how far we went. Um, but then we had to add these extra ones. So now we have, uh, I mean, how many n squareds do we have? Well, we have n minus one here, but then we had to add another one more. That gives us n, and then we had to give us one more. So that's n plus one. So we have n plus one n squareds. So let's write that right here. We have n plus one n squareds. Again, we went through one to n minus one. So that gives us n minus one n squareds. And then we had to add these two more right here. To, to make our sum go all the way to n squared, right? So that makes it n minus, that takes it to n minus one, to n, to n plus one. Okay, so that, 
Hope that's abundantly clear now. Okay, so this column's n plus one. Um, and now, so what do we have? What do we do with this? Um, what we do is, uh, the, so the qn, if we write qn out, uh, the last column, it looks like this. Well, Archimedes, in his infinite wisdom, uh, said, hey, we'll just add, we'll just add this. Gauss's uh, schoolboy formula. Now this uh, is we need to know this uh, and and to get this proof right. So I'm going to show you a quick way to do that. It's pretty easy. Um, what and Gauss did this when he was five. Uh, so we we'll just call this one plus uh, you know one plus two plus three plus out to n. We'll call this some s. We could call it anything. We could call it Bob. We could call it Leroy. Uh, you know, but let's just call it S for now. Okay, and let's write it again, but let's turn it around backwards. So N plus N minus 1 plus N minus 2 all the way down to, to 1. So now let's sum each column. So the first column we have 2S. We have two twice of what we need. In the first column we have N plus 1. What's 2 plus negative 1? That's 1. So we have N plus 1. What's 3 plus 3 minus 2 is 1. So we have N plus 1. And at the end, we have n plus 1. That's n plus 1. So we have all these n plus 1s. How many do we have? Well, we numbered it, 1 through n. Once again, we use our numbering to tell us how many we have. Okay? So we have n, n, n plus 1s. We have n of these 1s. So that's just going to be n. All these 1s equals n. So that's n times n plus 1. And we divide by 2 because we have twice as many. And so if you're going to multiply, uh, like, let's say go out to 100, I could say so if someone says, hey, add up all the numbers from 1 to 100, you'll say, okay, fine. Start with the last number, 100. Take uh, the number after it, 100. What's 100 times 101? That's 10,100 divided by 2. That's 5,050. Gauss saw that when he was 5. And he wasn't one of those, like, multiplying, you know, sort of so, what they call an idiot savant. Um he knew the reasoning behind it. That's what was different about Gauss. He knew all this uh, beautiful mathematical reasoning. Okay, so let's get back to our uh, sum of squares formula. So, so Archimedes added this to the Q, Q sub n, that thing we didn't know what to do with. So here's Q sub n, right, from, from when we multiplied it out. Uh, and we're gonna add, we're gonna add it to uh, add them up, okay? And so we have n, then we have 2n minus 1 plus n minus 1. That gives 3 of these n minus 1s, right? And then we have 4n minus 2 plus n minus 2. That gives us 5 of these n minus 2s. And so, so it's 3, 5, and then so we have 7. So these are all the odd numbers, right? And finally, we have 2n minus 2 plus 1. And this is 2n. That gives 2n minus 1 in this column. So what is this? Well, let's let's look at a picture. Uh, so this n we could represent as a block of towers this tall, right? And then three n minus one is kind of like a a tower, like three towers, but stuck together, but one less in height as the first one, right? Five it could be like a, a even further around, but like extended uh, one of each on each side of this. Uh, but it's two smaller than this and one smaller than this in height. And so what this really is, is this, if we, if we put them all together, it's this, and we look at this horizontal, this is the sum of squares. This is what we were set to, trying to find in the first place. Uh, if you look at it horizontally, see, we, we added these up, looked at it vertically, but now we can, if you look at it, Horizontally, what, what, so what slab is this? This is four squared, right? And a lot of the blocks are, are hidden or, you know, underneath this. You, they're kind of hidden by the upper blocks, but you know they're under there. So that's uh, four squared. This is three squared, two squared, and one squared. So really, this uh, if you add up this formula, you just get the sum of squares, okay? But we had to add n times, we had to add one through n to do that okay so let's sum up what we have we have um uh remember we had n plus one n squareds and we had to add 
uh, Archimedes knew to add this to it, and that, that gives us three of the sums we're looking for. If we counted up however many sums, I said, I remember I said three times, that's what we were looking for. See, we had three of them. We had it from right here, and then we had uh, two more from right here, from these columns here. That gives us three of the sum we're looking for, okay? And that's important, really important. Okay, so we're gonna multiply this out, do some algebra on the left-hand side, okay? And we're gonna wind up with this, and then we're gonna divide through by three, and what do we get? N cubed over three, plus N squared over two, plus N over six. What's that spell? That's our formula, okay? Now, um, so a simpler way to do that would be what this guy, uh, J.M. Croker found, and this is from the Messenger of Math uh, archives. Um, and he just did this in passing, and uh, it's just a quick little formula. He was really pr proving the sum of squares equal to the cube, the like more complicated, and he just did this like as a little side note. But, but see, there's a bunch of proofs of this formula, the sum of squares formula, uh, on YouTube, but they all assume the form of the answer before before they even solve for it. They say, oh, it's going to be a cubic of some sort. Okay, well, how did you know that? I mean, you had like some prescient, you know, what are you, a psychic? So, so that's why I like these proofs. They don't assume anything. We just derive it simply. Okay, so but so the the one by Croker, the next proof, um, we have to know this. We have to know this little fact about when you add up odd numbers, right? One, three, five, odd. You get squares, right? So if we had one plus three, we get a little square, a two by two square. If we had one through five, we get a three by three square. Okay, so adding up squares and definitely gives you uh, n squared, basically. Okay, so let's write that out. Okay, n squared is equal to one plus three plus five, go on indefinitely, two n minus three, finally to two n minus one. That's however far you wanna take it out. And this is one before we stop, is the two n minus three. Okay, so then let's take one less than that. Okay, so one, we're gonna go all the way out, but we're gonna stop one short, okay? And we didn't go all the way out to two n minus one. We're gonna stop at n minus one, all right? And so let's keep going on down. Uh, Finally, we're going to get to 2 squared, which is 1 plus 3, and then we finally end up on 1 squared, which is 1. Okay, and now we're going to add up our columns here, okay? Now, uh, this first column, what do we have? Um, well, we'll just call that <laughs> S sub N comma 2. That, this is notation Croker used. He used S sub N comma 2. Um, and so, but what is this column? This is, uh, how many ones do we have here? We have N, look, we use, remember we used, use the numbering system that's already there, it's staring you in the face. Just ignore the little square part. So this tells you, you have N ones. One, two, blah, 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 two, all the way out to N. Okay, so that's N, N ones is N, all right? And now we have N minus one, we have one less in three, okay? So let's keep doing that. Five and minus, take the pattern out, five of n minus two, right, all the way out, n minus one. Okay, so that's all right. But, um, and then somehow Croker knew to take two times this first column, he multiplied by two, so two s of n, two times this, two times this, two, and then add it, then he added it to this sum we got here of each column. Don't ask me how he knew to do that, but he did. <laughs> and so we add this up, n plus 2n squared, factor out the n, what do you have? n times 2n plus 1, okay? We can't, we can't really add this, but we can factor out the n minus 1. Let's factor out n minus 1, factor out n minus 1, 3 plus 2n minus 2. What is that? n times 1 times 2n plus 1. So you're going to get... Uh, uh, this factor out front times 2n plus 1, and then you're going to 2n two, two plus 1 in all of these. Um, so look at the end here. We have 2n minus 1 plus 2. So that's 2n plus 1. Okay, so let's factor out 
the two n plus one like it says to do here, factor it out. What do we have? Uh, uh, what is this, a sum from one plus two plus three plus four all the way out to n. This is Gauss's sum yet again, here we go. Remember, and that's equal to n times n plus one. So let's just, instead of writing that, it's much easier just to write this the Gauss's sum right here. So let's just put it in. Okay, so two n plus one times n plus one times n over two. And that's just another way to write that formula without multiplying it out, okay? It's the same thing, it's the sum we're looking for. But remember, we gotta divide by three. We gotta bring this three in from the other side because we got, we got three more, you know, three times as many as what we needed. So we need to just divide by three. So we have six on the bottom here in the denominator. Okay. And um, so these are just two different forms of the same formula. Uh, this one is just not multiplied out. Okay. And you can do a quick little check just to see if the formula uh, works right. Uh, we'll take one squared plus two squared plus three squared. That's one plus four plus nine. It's equal to 14. So, so in this case, n equals three, right? We went out to n equals three. Uh, let's try n equals three in here. Two n plus one is, if n is three, then that's seven. And then this is four. So seven times four, 28 times three, that gives us 84. And then divide by six, and that gives us 14. Same thing as what we got over here. And trust me, it works for everything. So. That's how you uh, derive the sum of squares formula without resorting to, uh, without making any assumptions, okay? All right, there we go. And that's done. And hopefully people can use this when they're in a calculus class or pre-cal class and um, get a little bit of insight instead of just doing, you know, assuming the answer. Um, all right. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and we'll see you later.